for sale signs and for lease signs are popping up in the downtown. Again, business owners are threatening to pull up stakes. Though not on camera, they used words like a nightmare. People are scared. I've hit a wall. Throwing my hands in the air. I'm giving up. I'm moving out. Those are just a few of the expressions from business owners who are fed up with what's happening in the downtown. Business owners are being assaulted, threatened with dirty needles, um, filth, uh, people using the outside as a toilet, your door at your entrance to your building, um, your business is used as a toilet, there's dirty needles, garbage. On a daily basis, people are cleaning that up. They say everyone is pointing fingers and no one wants to help them. In fact, that was a message to the Chamber of Commerce when it invited downtown businesses to a strategy meeting last week. The importance that was really stressed to us is public process is incredibly important through this because it's the businesses and the residents that are, are, are in some instances afraid to come down here uh, that need to be involved in, in finding solutions. Do we plan to take this to council? 100%. Uh, you know, again, going back to those three things that we're hearing, we're not being listened to, we're not being engaged, and we're not being uh, you know, involved in these closed-door meetings. We talked to Mayor Lynn Hall about the issue of downtown over 45 minutes during a ride along through the core. What I worry about is that, uh, you know, you hear from the police and they say if these businesses don't report um, the vandalism that happens on the property, uh, there's nothing they can do about it. And yet these are business people. They don't have time to report the 15th time their chain link fence has been cut and some little piddly piece of property has been stolen so somebody can get their next fix. It, they're up to here. And I've talked with one fella who, frankly, is not going to call the RCMP anymore. He's sitting in his shop with a bat. Yeah. And I've heard that, and, and, and I don't like to hear that. Uh, but, but I've heard it. I get it. I get the frustration. That vigilantism is echoed by a number of downtown businesses, like Bernie Schneider, who says it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when someone is seriously hurt. Eventually. It's not if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. There will be something bad that will happen. Um, and it won't be, it, it'll be a reaction from somebody or it will be a street person with a weapon. Uh, we phoned the RCMP a number of times saying we've had people walking up and down in, in front of our business with knives, with bats, with whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so eventually, one of those people is going to use it. He says businesses are too busy trying to make a go of it and in some cases... This isn't a bunch of people with nothing better to do than to, you know, get together and say, hey, let's, let's pick a topic and cause some problems. This is like serious stuff for everybody downtown. It, it's not to be taken lightly. Everybody's scared. Everybody's worried. Their businesses are losing money on a daily basis. Businesses are closing on a daily basis. It's time to change it. There is a sense of lawlessness, and he says by not dealing with the issue, the city is surrendering the downtown. Other business owners, like Kate Roxborough of Topaz Bead Gallery, have finally thrown in the towel after being assaulted by a shoplifter. So, uh, you're leaving downtown? I am. I, that night I went home and I put my business up for sale. You talk about the businesses that are closing. Uh, i, I got to tell you, that's a, um, that's a shot in the gut for me because of everything that we have done. And what we've done downtown from an economic development perspective, Cheryl, was to always, always assist and promote and develop and revitalize the downtown. So when I see all of the development and I hear that a business that may have been around 30, 40 years or 10 years or 10 days saying, look, I can't do this, I kind of look over my shoulder and think all of the work that we put into this and now you're leaving. But I get it. I'm not happy about it, I'm sad about it, but I get it. Because like I said earlier, it's their lifeline. We need to come up with rational, long-term solutions. So, you know, while you can say in the short term it would be great if the RCMP got additional funding for more officers and resources, or we did some enhanced lighting projects, uh, in the end run, there is a much larger discussion and a much, much larger issue at play, which is uh, mental health and addictions, and, and how do we work on that problem strategically and as a community? Northern Health needs to be a major player in this, without a doubt. I mean, um, along with the city, probably two of the most, and the RCMP, probably three of the most important groups to be involved in, in this downtown Prince George area. Um, 
but it'd be nice to know. It'd be, it'd ni let's put it this way. It would be great to have somebody from the business community and not somebody who's paid by City Hall, but somebody from the business community involved in those discussions. We asked Bernie Schneider what he would say if the mayor were sitting across from him as opposed to me. Clean it up. Clean it up. People are tired of it. You know, and I hate to use the word embarrassing, but it really is. It's an embarrassing downtown, um, and it needs to get cleaned up, and it needs to get cleaned up now. It's, it's not six months down the road or a year down the road or two years or three years down the road. There needs to be a working committee to study the effects of the downtown to fix it. And that committee starts at City Hall. And part of cleaning it up is understanding the source of the problem and providing options. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.